So I have devised the top 20 mushrooms and they are have this, this in common. They are good to eat. They are common. So you're not picking something that uh, is threatened in any way. And they are easy to identify relatively speaking. Some of them are blindingly obvious, uh, quite a few of them, so that's good. Um, the, we'll we just do a few of these. The hedgehog mushroom, I'm not sure, I don't think I've got a picture of that later. I think that's a really good one to start with. Of uh, course, you you can't decide to start on something. You you just go out and whatever you find, you know, you hope you hope that's one that's, that's relatively easy. You will get to learn these over the years. And uh, remember, I've been out, my goodness me, 10,000 times. I'm it's not a joke. I'm not joking. That's probably 10,000 times. Uh, so I've seen, I see, that's a bit of an over that. Let's go for 5,000 times. I don't think there is 10,000 times enough uh, room for that. Um, and uh, I've, I've seen pretty well, not everything, but I've, I've seen a lot. And I've seen hedgehog mushrooms probably hunt two or three hundred, four or five hundred times uh, I've been into the woods. So you will, you will come across it. It's mycorrhizal association with. Um, with trees uh, it's really the absolute gift for the beginner forager uh, can i just say first of all it definitely has a stem so it's got a cap and it's got a stem and really that's the problem with mushrooms in general they have a cap and stem and everything is else down, is down to detail with this one the details are blindingly obvious it's uh, i don't think i've got a picture of it i just wasn't really going to talk about it but it's such a good one it has a sort of uh, beige look to it it's got a matte surface to the to the cap the cap is very irregular it uh, um it it uh, has little spines that hang down underneath instead of gills most most think most fungi have gills some of them have tubes uh, like the beliefs uh, this has little spines uh, make sure it does have a cap because there are other things that do have spines which are actually quite rare and usually grow on wood but sometimes they look as though they're growing on the ground but in fact they're growing on a bit of wood um, they're quite rare also edible but they are rare so keep away from those hedgehog mushroom it is the very it's an absolute gift to the the forager um, giant puffball james you said you'd found some giant Puffles, you cannot mistake them for anything else. They are big, they are white, they are round, they grow usually in fields, sometimes in nettle patches, very occasionally on compost heaps and uh, and in woodland. Um, but um, actually, I did get it wrong once. I <coughs> I did, uh, there was a field, I was a furniture maker, and there was a field office in my workshop, and I was driving past the workshop one day, and it was around about the right time of year for these uh, puffballs to come up, and I saw one. I saw one in the field. I did a forager's emergency stop, ran across the road, there was people tooting me and everything, uh, leapt over the fence and ran towards the, um, uh, to the puffball and, and it flew away. Uh, it was a white duck having a little kip on the grass. So that was, that was my biggest fail, but apart, uh, to, to be fair, it's edible. So it wasn't all bad, but I didn't catch it. But uh, that's about the only mistake you could possibly make. Chicken of the Woods, I saw that last um, Saturday. And uh, that is quite obvious. It's just tears on a piece of wood, on, on, a, on a trunk, uh, tears of brilliant yellow uh, fungus. Um, very good. Horn of uh, the oyster mushroom. It's a mushroom, got gills and everything. And, uh, and, and so on. And, and you can go through the whole list. And, and these are very easy. Parasols. Uh, We've already spoken about they are they are so easy because they're so big. The caps can grow. I've seen them thir literally thirteen. I measured it thirteen inches in diameter, and um, and it's tall. It's got snakeskin markings. Very easy to identify. Any of these top twenty, and they're listed in the um, Foragers Canada. Uh, you'll you'll be pretty safe. You'll be pretty safe. Stick with those, and you'll know much more about fungi than most of your friends. No, these okay. ones, um, less you're saying, less likely to get confused for poisonous species than generally. I'm um, sorry, I, I didn't quite catch that. It was a bit of so a... you're saying with these ones, you're fairly safe because you're less likely to confuse them for poisonous. Yes, plants. they are. They are pretty. Easy. They've got very distinctive characteristics. Um, okay, all all poisonous mushrooms have their own characteristics, but uh, you're quite a long way from anything poisonous. There are always caveats. There's always a caveat with any, anything. Um, I know I wish that they weren't there, but then you know, uh, I, don't, I don't make up the rules. Uh, so, sometimes you get something that looks like it. And the parasol has a, um, a, a, sister, a sister genus uh, called the, uh, the dappings. And uh, they look very similar to parasols, but they don't have the same sort of big ring. Uh, they're much smaller, um, and there are ways of, of, of telling. But you no, know, if it's big, if it's 10 inches across and tall, it's not going to be a, a dappling. It's definitely going to be a parasol. There we go. So this is a giant puffball. 
what a magnificent thing uh oh, incidentally if you if you want to pick them um i don't uh, just leave them. well I, I tend to follow james and i tend to leave them where they are because i think they're probably much more rare than we think it's just because they're big we see them uh, relatively frequently uh but if you do pick one just pick do indeed just pick one make sure it's no bigger than a football and when you tap it it should almost ring it's got to be quite solid can we go to the next one james oh, again Oh, there's a chicken in the woods. See, everything I said was true. That's about four feet, I think, four or five feet. It's quite a quite a beauty. That was down in Dorset. That was in Dorset. Next. Chat, this is the first one I ever tried. Shaggy ink cap. You can't really mistake this for anything else. There is one that looks exactly like it, but it's about half an inch tall. So uh, you, you wouldn't be picking that one. Uh, really unmistakable. Just make sure it's pure cream when you slice one in half. And you can see on one of them, the big one, that is actually starting to go a little bit black. That's where the spores are maturing. It's not poisonous once it goes a bit black, but it's um, it just doesn't taste so nice. The texture is not so good. This is a really safe one. Let's see if you've got any more of those. I don't think there are. Maybe there is. Ah, yes, there goes the penny bun. This is the king of mushrooms. This is what people go mad for in the new forest and cause endless problems. Um, I always pick them uh, when when they're sort of like this, I took. This is a picture for a photograph of them. Um, but generally speaking, I pick them when they're um, when they're sort of middle aged, I suppose. Uh, and any big, any little ones I leave, and any of the really big ones, I certainly leave those because they're producing their spores by the by the million, very billion, very possibly a trillion. So uh, uh, that it's very easy to identify. Okay, next. Oh, and a fairy bread champignon. Oh, you. you you, it's difficult to get this one wrong. It's very common. It grows in rings on in grassland. It is very common. You find it in parks. You find it in um, uh, uh, school playing fields and uh, uh, lawns. is uh, is famous. In fact, notorious for growing on lawns because it makes a terrible mess of the lawn. Um, it, it actually burns a ring of grass, which uh, just annoys everybody. Okay. Next, yeah. Oh, there's the hedgehog mushroom. I was in there after all. Uh, oh, now look at that. Nothing else looks like that. Really, it doesn't. It, if you get that color and the stem and the spines, you've got a hedgehog mushroom. It's extremely common. I went to a very boring spruce plantations years and years ago, and it was on private land, and uh, it was for the owner. I was running a foray there. Um, spruce plantations of well, I say, it, it, let me say it wasn't an ancient oak wood, so it wasn't uh, ecologically sensitive. And honestly, we found they often grow in rings. We found ring after ring after ring of these. And it was uh, one of those days, one of those very few days where you fill up your, you fill up your basket, go back to the car and just chuck them in the boot. I don't do that very often, but I, I think I was justified that day. Good. So watch out for the hedgehog mushroom. Oh, there's the parasol. There we go. You're not going to mix that up with anything else. That was uh, that's at River Cottage. I told you the parasols they were good. There's a ring. I think that's maybe part of the ring, and it's 70 meters across. That's an ancient organism. It's the same it, genetically. It's the same thing, and uh, pretty well. And um, it just gets the ring just gets bigger and bigger over the years. And it's 70 meters across now. It's one of the largest rings I know. Uh, but uh, the, the rings all fallen off. You can see them on the. Uh, you can see them on the on the grass. Good. Please. Next. And the field mushroom, I will tell you how to identify the field mushroom. Oh, that's a very nice picture, Robin. You can see see them in all their detail. I don't think we need to come back to that one, but uh, what a pretty sight. This is the one that um, that most of the British, well, I say most, uh, it's pretty much the only one the British have ever been interested in. Okay, they like horse mushrooms, which are in the same genus, and uh, they are, tend to be uh, considerably bigger. There's actually three species that we tend to pass, that tend to pass as horse mushrooms, some of them rarer than, the other, than others. Um, uh, and, and the Brits would eat would eat those but the um they've never all been never been the british for some reason have never been keen on all the woodland species uh i, I never found out why uh, i've been trying to change it for a long time now mm -hmm.